Hello and welcome back to another A-Level Maths Revision question. As you can see then from my hat here today, it's the 1st of December, right? Which basically just means that it's Christmas. And in the theme of Christmas, I will try to keep it somewhat Christmas throughout December. If you're watching this later on in the year, I haven't lost the plot. It's probably going to seem a bit weird. Just ignore this, right? Um, but anyway, for today's question, we have a question on circles. Let's just stop the app in here and let's just get started with the question. So what I've got here then is the circle C1, which has this equation here. And then we want to find the following two things. So for a part one here, so for a part one, we just want to find the coordinates of the center of C1. So to begin with here, let's just group the x terms together and also group the y terms together. So if we group the x and the y terms together here, we obtain the following. What we now need to do then is just complete the square twice here. Right? I'm going to complete the square on the x terms here and also complete the square on the y terms. And from there, we can just kind of simplify and continue, right? So let's just complete the square here on the x term. So I get x minus 3. That's all squared. I get minus 9. So that's the x part dealt with. Let's do the y part here. So I get y plus 7. So y plus 7 here, we square that. I get minus 49. Don't forget the plus 33. And all of this here is equal to 0, right? Now, minus 9, minus 49, plus 33, that gives me minus 25. We're going to take that over to the other side, right? So what I get here then is x minus 3 all squared plus then y plus 7 all squared. As we just said then, the minus 9, the minus 49, the plus 33, that simplifies to go as minus 25. So if we take that over to the other side. What I get here then is that this is equal to 25, right? And from here, then we can easily identify the coordinates of the center of C1 and also the radius of C1, right? So for the center here, so for the center here, you just take the opposite to what we've got inside the brackets, right? It's because this is x minus 3. My x coordinate here for the center is positive 3. The center here is 3 for the x coordinate. And for the y coordinate here, again, just take the opposite sign, right? So what I get here is minus 7. Perfect. So this here, is the center, and then for the radius here of C1, so for the radius of C1 here, well, what I've got here then is um, R squared is 25, so R squared is 25. Just take the square root of both sides here, right? And R is clearly a positive value, it's a length. And in that case then, what I get here for R is that R is equal to five, right? And there we go then, so that gives us the solution to today's question.